Let's just jump right into it. Great job. Uh, so player of the year also from the Thumb Sports right. Red Association for high school and also uh, team of the year. Mm -hmm. They have both those awards and also Joey Mini on our first team. Right. It's, it's a great all around uh, for nice. high school itself. I mean, just, let's just talk about this award because I never got a chance mm -hmm. to talk to you. I mean, I had a feel just to hold this trophy not only for the team but as a you know, player of the year. Player, uh, just a sense of pride just them falling through, you know, all the hard work for you, everybody on your team to everybody to achieve their award. You know, it's, Having that team of the year is kind of like I had a bonus. It's, it is, you know, it's kind of a fulfilling success of what everything that's happened during the year. It's coming into that. It's nice. Now you, you broke your arm uh, late in the season. How did how's it feel now? I mean, obviously you were able to play now. basketball really well. Yeah, I got a nice little score there. Yeah, I'm right anybody. <laughs> yeah, right there. But yeah, um, it's healed up really well. The doctor said, and I'll be able to go. They won't need to take the screws out until I'm done playing sports and. So I, I should be fine. Feels strong. Yeah, it feels so. You're pretty fortunate. As good as it was. Got back in the field. Yeah, I was able to. That was, that the was, season didn't end the, w the way you wanted it, but you did play against a good Saginaw team that was ready to come against you. Yeah, they they came out strong. I think that's what came out and got us. But with uh, losing comes a uh, great learning lesson. Yeah, awesome. Exactly. Yep. Life lessons. So I heard uh, with the. Uh, be a quick uh, signing in here that you got you will be uh, what, studying criminology or something? Uh, criminal justice probably is what it's down to. Either that or physical therapy, I'm not really sure. Gotta add that secondary. Yeah. Something to do yeah, related to sports. To in between. <laughs> now this is looking further down the road. Mm -hmm. You've ever you know, things work out, you know, you get to play more football, that's a bonus. Right, you know? Not every bonus. kid gets to do this. Exactly. Um, is it co coaching maybe further down the road also to learn? Or to help you maybe yeah. come back? I, that definitely might be in the road for me, I guess. And has it hit you also that your face was going to be in that case there? I, no. You know, you I, one of those pictures of some of these old athletes. It has not hit me yet. No, definitely not. So what, what, what's your advice uh, to other athletes? Just kind of ignore all the hoopla, I would say. It's, it's kind of yeah, the no quick doubt. advice I would give. Is just to focus exactly. and have fun. Yeah. yeah, and like you were saying before, uh, the high school seasons don't, there's not very many of them, they go by fast. So just, Take every day like it's your last. That's the biggest thing. All right, congratulations, good luck. Thank you, All appreciate right. it. Where's Joey? Did Joey leave? All right, sorry for delaying. <laughs> That's all right. Wow, you're going to take up the whole space here, Joey. Uh, <laughs> try to turn sideways. Joey Mini. You ever get made fun of with that last name? So you're not so many. Right? <laughs> yeah, I get made fun of all the time, especially on the field. You seem like a happy guy. Yeah. I like to have fun here. Yeah. Um, signed with Sienna Heights. What made that decision for you? Were, did you know they were looking at you and Nathan at the same time? Or? Um, yeah, me and Nathan went to a couple of camps together, but what really popped out was me. There's coaching staff. They're a young coaching staff, and I can really relate to them. And they seem like a family, like. That caused the accident, that's what really pulled me towards him. That's what he, he had all, also mentioned. Uh, were you really getting looked at anybody else? Um, yeah, Something? Wayne State and North Not bad school. They went to a national state, yep. actually the national championship a couple years ago. So. Yep. Yeah. So your final decision went on Sienna Heights, and I was just telling I can, well, at least you'll have a roommate. Yeah. You'll know, you know. So. Yeah. So uh, what's, the, what's next now? Are you still participating in high school sports at this uh, moment? Yeah, I'm, um, in the spring I got track and we're gonna do a little running around and get out there. Do they give you like kind of like a game plan and what you have and what they expect you to do throughout you know from high school here on out to prepare yourself as you go into college? Um, no, they really haven't given me yet. Um, it's coming. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just work. Coach Zelensky uh, has an after school program. And he gets all the kids working and footwork and conditioning. And I'm just working out. We're working out with him. With our. Uh, uh, we, we do a Thumb Sports Writers Association Network, if you, I don't know if you know, with the, with the area media, and um, you were you know, right there on top of our charts with the first team player yeah. and all that, and we you have been looked at the last couple of years, but uh, you know, Nathan Guitar got the player of the year, but then the team of the year went to your team. How did that feel to get that trophy with that added bonus? Oh, that was, uh, felt really good. It felt like an accomplishment. I'm really proud of all the underclassmen who really stepped up. And I'm going to mess with them. Yeah, so, you know, your head coach has left Jason Vandermas, but a new coach comes in, and you feel the transition will be nice and easy because of the fact that these guys have been all coaching together for a long time, and all the Athens program has really grown yeah. under Vandermas. You know, he came in, came back again. Yep. Um, football quite healthy in prospects, in your opinion? Oh, yeah. 
everybody wants to be a part of the football. Yeah, it's so like it's like seeing over 63 guys would be NFL max out there practically out there. Yeah. Who wants to get in and yeah. Uh, also, with the Thumb Area team, as I forget to ask Nathan this, but I'll ask you this: uh, to see so many Thumb Area teams to have so much success kind of in the full season, that's good. that's a little bit of a pride there. You know, I, I, I remember uh, talking to some Cosmic players: Hey, how did that Harbor Beach team do? You know, they won the state championship. They actually won the state cha- championship also, but it seems like as a whole, Thumb is like really family. Like, you agree? Um, yeah, some some other schools. Still competition. Yeah. yeah, there's still competition. Like, yeah, like. Really don't get along. See, yeah, but see, you're the Crosslex team. You're in the B-way. Yeah. It's not particularly hard, you know. Yeah. You're in the thumb. Yeah. Those are country boys. Now. Yeah. There is some pride there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Like, I hang out with a couple kids from different schools, so I guess you could say. Uh, you know, any other athletes uh, from uh, other thumb areas that we'll be going to see in a that we're looked at at all? Um. I talk. I talked to a couple like at camps, but I don't know if they committed or not. But. Is, when did you make your final decision to uh, stick with Steve Cena Hudson? Um, about two weeks ago, I gave wow. him a call. Yep. So Nathan said he felt his decision was in December. Yeah. You were still unsure? Huh? Yeah. He didn't help in your decision, Nathan. Did. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, I kind of wanted to go with someone that I, I know. And, I mean, Nathan's a good friend since grade school. Also, you know, great player in high school, Lon, I was just telling Nathan uh, I think your face would probably be in that last case there also. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, um, you still want to support the school later on in life, you know. Yeah. To come back and, you know, just keep the program running. Yeah, hopefully you get to come back and help Coach Linsky, uh take him to the States. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, what's your goals now? I mean, of course you're playing football. You get to play more football. It's, you know, it's, it's, that's a bonus. Yeah. You know, a lot of kids don't get to do it in high school. But what, what's your main education uh, focus for uh, Siena Heights when you go there? Um, like my major? Yeah. What would you like to do? I like to do criminal justice. So you think it's maybe, what are you guys going to be, like the 21 Jump Street? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was kind of thinking. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Good luck with everything. All right. Thanks. Uh, where would this be on? I'm going to, uh, here, let me. Actually, we just did this live. So uh, that's a special Thumb Tailgater Sports uh, live webcast here with Joey Minnie. Also, Nathan Guitar at Carlsville Lexington High School. I want to thank uh, Rick Chakaki, the athletic director, for uh, getting this together real quick. So, uh, see you later, folks.